Still alive? Ah, shit. There's a door there, asshole. You gonna hit me? Not the corner I wanted to be backed into, but damn. That was annoying. Honestly, I'm surprised me taking down the the BB uh, went went as well as it did. Don't you think? You see, we are all connected through the holy body. And now your flesh and bones, your very thoughts, are already one with us. Bullshit. Why do you reject serenity when you need only accept the sacred gift? the funnest part of the game. I want what he's on. 
He tripping balls, man. He tripping balls. Enough. God damn it. Look how many people love Lord Sadler. Why can't you? Let's go, come on. Frosty Bean, what's up? How you doing? Like I told you, I'm gonna get you home safe. Yeah. Let's get that thing out of you. The only thing Leon wants in her is him. Nah. He doesn't like competition. Uh, RE4 is, well, uh, I mean, if you know what RE4 is, then uh, you can see it's going uh, pretty well. Professional run with no carryovers and, and basic starting items and stuff like that, yeah. Oh yeah, I, I love I love this game. This game's great. I mean, it gets a little frustrating playing on the harder modes with the the engine because the engine's not designed for like a lot of like multi combat like action. It's a little easier to manage when it's on easier difficulty, but when they're super aggressive, the engine has a hard time keeping up with the with the baddies and to keep the baddies in check, so. Um, yep. We will save here, and we are the last chapter. Ashley. Ashley. I'm right here. Is this your uh, favorite Resident Evil, Frosty? I thought you were gonna die. Uh, you should never listen to what uh, what anyone says. You should always check out games for yourself. The map? Yeah, I found it. I think it says we can get out if we go this way. Hey, we're a team, right? People probably think it's trash because it was nominated for, like, Game of the Year. And... Well... The game is a remake, not a remaster. So, yeah, it, it qualifies for, like, being, so all of this, you know, acknowledged for, you know, the game that it is and how it was de developed yeah. and everything, so. We're alive. Thanks to him.
But I will say this game plays a little Someone bit better on uh, easier difficulties. Um, because that death counter is for the many times that Ashley has gotten in the way of me trying to set up uh, kill shots on enemies, and I shot her instead. That is, uh, that's what that counter's for. Yeah. And that's the thing. Uh, games could be not everyone's cup of tea, but it doesn't mean they are trash. You are right, Frosty. Awesome. Make sure it wasn't anything else in here. Look, I bet we could use that. There Sorry. you go, get up there. Like I said, we're a team. <laughs> You're getting good at that. You sure you're okay? Oh. Uh, never been better. Gotta pick up that velvet. Good. Um. Is there any games I don't like? I don't know. Um. I guess we'll stick with video games. Because, you know, I have my opinion of video games and board games alike. Since I'm a big board gamer as well. Um. Video games, though, like. I mean, there's games I'm not a big. I, I don't like The Judge, but I'm not, like. Like, I'm not a fan of Fortnite, you know, um, but I'm sure it's for those who like it. It's a good game. I just don't enjoy what it what, you know, there's it just doesn't appeal to me. I mean, Catan, I I, I don't hate Catan. I just don't want to play Catan more than once, in, you know, once a week. It just Catan frustrates me as a game. Um, what else? Um, Scythe. Look at this place. Scythe can be, uh, is a game I kind of dislike. Like, I recognize it's a good game, but there's ga oh, things sure about fine. it I don't like. She's not the type to roll over that easy. And that's fair. Well. Yeah. I'm not, like, like, for me, first-person shooters are, like, I'm very picky on the ones I like, and I like to play, and I don't like to play. But no, like, there are games that are literal trash, but they were poorly designed and they are meant to be, like, called trash. I don't just call shit trash for the hell of it. Are you talking about Catan or uh, or Scythe? Is that what you're asking? Ashley. I am getting real tired of these fucks. Here, let me get to a point where I'm not like possibly gonna die. These things are actually not real hard to fight on uh, earlier mode, like earlier difficulties, but like they like to like rush in real quick as soon as they see you and it's just a pain in the ass. Take away all your health for fucking no reason. Alright, get up, Ashley. Um, Katan, I just... Katan can lend itself to just being uh, nothing but an R RNG uh, fuckfest. Like, it just depends on who you play with, but, uh, like, my friend doesn't like to trade at all. 
like absolutely hates to trade in Catan. So Catan is a very, very shit game if you don't trade in that game at all. Like the whole premise of the game, the whole point of the reason why it's as popular as it is, is the interaction in the trading. So if you don't trade, you, the game kind of sucks. Um, not only that, um, you know, you could go in and, you know, robber people, you know, you could be robbered if you're in first place. Or if people just feel the need to be a dick, they could just robber you when you're a little bit behind. Like, the robber is designed to keep people who's running away with the game in check. And when the robber is used in a, in a way to where it keeps down a person who's already down, like in last place or like, or it's just like miles behind the uh, guy in first place. Yeah, it really suffer. It makes the person suffer and not want to enjoy the uh, the time they're spending with the game. It's like kicking a horse when he's already down. All right. As for Scythe, my problem with Scythe is that. The Scythe can't figure out if it wants to be a Euro game or if it wants to be a goddamn area control game. It doesn't do, like, it doesn't do both well. It just, it's kind of like the, it, like, you can literally just sit there and do the engine building part of Scythe really easily and run away with the game if no one wants to fuck with you, which you'll find games where nobody wants to fuck with you and basically the person who can engine build the quickest is the winner or you could do the warring part of the game which yeah you could you could focus on getting in there and roughing people up the problem is a lot of what helps you score in Catan is not necessarily warring like yeah sometimes you need to move your opponents out of the way but it it hurts you the you know, like you might get a, a battle star or whatever, or like some sort of star for your end goals or uh, points for the end or whatever. But the problem is um, you don't get awarded enough of those to merit constantly doing it. So you only want to do it every so often because it, it's a detriment to like be too much of a dick and keep people away. So like the problem is it's an engine building game with an area control like field to allow you to go in and um, push people around but the problem is you push people around too much it hurts you so it's it, it's just kind of a weird like engine building game and I just am not like I think it's confused on its identity and I just don't really get into it um, I'll play it if people want me to and I even own it because people like it but it's not a game I'm necessarily going to pick and bring to the table. Alright, no more of those bugs are in here. But yeah, most of the time I don't really have like, unless the game's like very poorly designed, I don't tend to like, not like games. Um, so I don't like to try to nitpick, but like, it's just, you know, when you play a game enough times, you start to see certain things. And unfortunately I've played Catan enough in my life and I've played, uh, you know, scythe enough in my life to kind of notice these flaws that bother me. Now, there's flaws in every game, though, if you play it enough, like Ticket to Ride, Carcassonne, you name it. Like, there's all sorts of flaws. But if they're flaws that don't really bother you, then to you, it's still going to be an enjoyable, great game. As many times you played it. Even Ark Nova. I've, I've noticed in Ark Nova, like, I wish there was a l just a little bit more player interaction. Because someone who's really good at Ark Nova is going to be so much better than someone else who's not as 
knowledgeable of the cards in, Ar in Arc Nova. Um, because there's not a whole lot of ways to, like, very minimal amount of ways to, like, deter your opponents. I wish there was a little more of that in the game. Like, I, I, I think they were trying to be safe and not have too much of it in the game, but I don't think they put enough of it in the game. So, like, while it's still a very enjoyable game, I do like it. Arc Nova is unfortunate. Unfortunately, just not, like, the 10 out of 10 most people like to give it, in my opinion. Right, exactly. Yeah. Got a selection of good things. All right. Um. So we're right before the final boss. Welcome. What you see is what I've got. So what do you think, everybody? You think we should get the rocket launcher? I'm thinking so. Frosty thank you for the follow. All right, um, let's sell stuff. Welcome. Uh, let's do tuna. Good luck to you, stranger. Crossing your teeth. All right, now selling. Eyes. That's the way. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm, we're gonna keep these just in case. Ruby's all rubbish, it makes no difference. The price, well, that's our choice to make. Alright, um. Oh, okay, trombone. Well, hopefully uh, work isn't too uh, too rough then. Just go ahead and try to enjoy your day and have a good time. Try to figure out what I want to sell here. I almost want to sell the killer. Ooh, I'll pay a pretty penny for that. Well, the whole premise of a game uh, of Catan Frosty is to trade with your neighbors because the, the dice rolls will give you resources, but, you know, depending on how your setup is, you're not going to get resources because of your setup. Certain resources will be unavailable to you, so you want to trade the things you get for things you don't get and try to progress, you know, everybody's, you know, looking to progress themselves. So, like, getting good trades or, you know, baiting trades is kind of very important to have. And when you don't have that, you just rely on the dice to give everyone resources. That makes the game just not a lot of fun. But, uh, no problem, Trombo. Happy to, happy to answer. All right, um, we sold the submachine gun. There's the ammo for it. Um, we're going to try to buy the rocket launcher. Not my place to say, really, but sometimes things are more interesting if you keep a level playing field. Don't you find? I love how he's like, well, I guess you want to be that guy. Better to be over. Come back any time. Oh, yeah, we don't need the uh, TMP stock, but we'll keep it. Because we can always buy back the TMP if we need it, so. The stock, you have to fucking uh, get with the spin out, and I'd rather not have to do that. So we'll store it. Welcome. What can I interest you in? Oh, my back is next time. Buy something. All right. 
I think we're happy with this. We're going to try it. I'm going to try shooting the rocket launcher at him and be done with it, so. S. Sanherger, thank you for the follow. All right. Go get us an Ada. I don't think there's anything else we gotta look at. He thinks he's gonna lure me out. Stay here. I won't be long. Okay. I won't be long, baby. Absolutely not. You ugly son of a bitch. One shot, nice. Fuck him. For those of you watching, the boss is not normally that easy. This is why I bought the rocket launcher. I felt I owed it to myself to get through this professional run. To uh, I felt I owed it to myself to at least enjoy something out of this run that was constantly kicking my ass. I saved the rocket launcher for the final boss. Finally, I looked at suits you, Sadler. A monster in and out. Still, I need to cut this date short. It's not me. It's you.
Okay, I'll take another rocket launcher. He did. That was fun. Personal, Leon. Luis and I had an arrangement. Don't worry, I'll take good care of it. Right here. You coming? I think we both know this. This is where we go our separate ways. I see. <laughs> I love that. Until next time, Leon. Leon! Where is she going? Who knows? I don't understand. Why would she just... We gotta move. My island's gonna blow. It's gonna blow? Yeah. Huh. Down's gonna blow. Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah. Hey. Ooh. Now we can go home. Oh my God! We can go yet. home. We can go home. I knew I still had one in here. It's over. Time to get out of here. I just wanted to see how much uh, damage we could take. Apparently, it's not very much. <laughs> now we can go home. Fucking We're ridiculous. Uh, it might take us a little bit, because I, I don't usually get through this part without taking a few hits.
They're nothing now. Their master's gone. It's over for them. Yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah, unfortunately, the the end is not like an auto. Like it doesn't like give you an auto win. This thing kind of maneuvers pretty shittily, too. Ow. Yeah, you bumped the wall twice, you're done. Now we can go home. We're not out of here yet. It's almost as bad as playing Silver Surfer on the fucking NES. Oops, touch the wall, I'm dead. They don't give me any what Oh yeah, I don't have any equip. Fucker. Put you out of your misery. Look at you suffering. You suffer no more. I was just curious. You like drill rides? Yeah, we're having to decelerate every now and again just to be careful. Was that the, like, really? Was that the deceleration? Or it was probably me just fucking around. I lost a couple seconds fucking around, but I didn't think it'd be that bad. Alright, 
Alright, let's see if we can get out faster. Like, I'm trying not to go, like, full board so I can, like, not hit every wall there is, but... Why is Leon run like he's got something up his ass? Like, come on. Yet. Fucking gun it, Leon. As long as I don't spend over an hour on like I did Del Lago, like uh, Del Lago, we'll, uh, we'll be fine. Yeah, Del Lago. For a second there, I was like hesitating, like, wait, is that his name? Yeah, it is. You like thrill rides? Come on. Let's go. Yeah. Wow, that was just one. One hit. I thought I was going to make it through there. I guess I, yeah, I, I wasn't clearing it. They're nothing. Try to make this last down here. a few uh, few minutes there wow and when I say a few minutes it's me gonna die here and uh, we're gonna have to retry so come on come on Now it's a good game. I am not sure. 
sure that was insane. until we play separate ways which i'm doing um the next re4 stream we do it's my uh it's kind of like my bonus to all of you um who's been watching this and uh those who enjoy the resident evil I just downloaded and purchased it uh, earlier, so now we can play it on the start of the next stream or whenever I do Resident Evil again um, next week at some point. So we're going to go through separate ways and complete that. I don't know if I'm going to do that on professional, though. I'm, I might just do it on normal or hardcore and enjoy it myself. Not not have to, like, fucking... Sweat the entire goddamn yourself. fucking game. <laughs> you know what I mean? You could use a lesson in knife safety. <laughs> Come on. Let's go home. Let's go home, baby. Condor One? Roost to Condor One, do you read me? Come in. I said, Come in. Is this thing even on? Leon. Leon, are you and Ashley all right? Where are you? Come on! All right. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. I never play games on the hardest of quality if it's like my first play because it's just I want to be able to enjoy the game and just have fun with it and like To me like it's only worth sweating if I if I'm familiar with the game to like prepare for the sweatiness Like I, you know me with you know volunteering myself to sweat even harder by just not having carryovers, stuff like that. I, I say, you know, I figure if I'm playing through a game for the first time, I don't really need carryovers to try to beat on a harder difficulty. I should be able to do it. You know. But, you know, it's... I love that they have features like that for New Game Plus stuff and whatnot, but... Just depends on how often you enjoy playing the game, so... But yeah, I, I loved how well they designed this game overall. So I guess I could talk about the game a little bit because um, I I didn't stream when I played it through the first time because I was doing it on the PS4. Um, it was so much nicer to play this on the PS5 than it was on the PS4, I will say that. Um, first and foremost, but... I just, I love what they did with the game overall. It, the game is so much fun. Like, yeah, RE4 OG is a classic, and rightfully so, but, like, to take a game like that that is a revered classic and somehow, like, make a better version that doesn't suck and it totally, like, keeps true to the formula and just... Yeah, I, I just loved everything about this game. Except for the engine on hard, on this real hard difficulty. Like, there's a reason they give you items to use, because they want you to be able to, like, I've obtained the kick amber. the, you know, kick the engine's ass. Excellent. Just one question. It's just hard to do what so when you you're limited. Do, with this? We do not pay you to ask questions. All you need to know... Is a new dawn is breaking. A hundred will give their lives so that just one may live. They really didn't tone down Wesker and his over the top ambitions, did they? Expediting that change. This guy's a so, creep. We're talking millions of casualties. Billions. How ambitious. We're changing course. <laughs> I just love that. She's just like, uh, yeah, we're 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 getting out of here. We're uh, we're gonna do something else.
All right, we'll do everyone a favor and skip the fucking uh, song here because no one likes this song at the end for the end credits. I'm going to put this with my other new playthrough. Actually, maybe I'll just put it at the bottom. Yeah, put it at the bottom. Probably work. There we go. All right, sweet. <laughs> So we got separate ways. Mmm, the hand cannon. Hey, Tremon. Welcome in, welcome in. Oh, thank you, uh, Vale. You should have got some sleep, Vale. You could have always watched a VOD. But, uh... Yeah, it's good, uh, it's good we got it done. What is this? Oh, changing up costume? Seriously? That's what that is? Defeat a Garador using only knives. Ah. Uh. Oh, that sucks. Hmm. Interesting. Anyways, just going through some of the... Just looking at some of the items. Um, anyways, hopefully everybody had a great time watching the... You know... The professional run playthrough. It was, uh, it was nice to be able to do it and have fun with it. And uh, get my ass kicked a hundred times over. Because that's what you all come to watch. To see me suffer. And I suffer greatly. Um... But yeah, I think what we'll do is uh, we'll raid on out of here somewhere. Let's uh, kind of see who's online. Alright, let's go ahead and raid out to... Uh, um, let's raid out to my friend Zena Croft. She is... Uh, Kind of just chatting and kind of immersing herself with her audience and getting settled in. Uh, the next torture? I'm not 100% sure. Let me look at my list here. Let me look at my list. Um, so we got RE4 done. Um, you know what? Let me uh, window this. Let me bring this up in the... Hold on. 
on, hold on. Alright, so, here we go. Um... So, editing uh, what we got here, um, we just finished uh, RE4 Remake, we're done with it. So we'll get rid of that. Um, we still need to finish our Metroid 1 NES play. Um, I only just beat the first boss and then I put it down. And never got back to it for whatever reason. Maybe I should finish that at some point, but... Um, kind of looking, and we're trying to look for something that's like... Uh, not exactly an R like an RPG because we're already doing we're already doing that with Xenosaga. Um, maybe we uh, maybe we give Control a play. Maybe we finally play Control. How about that? We play Control. Um, give give Resident Evil a break for a bit. Yeah, I'm kind I'm kind of burned out on Resident Evil for the moment. I've done a fair amount of it for the last like several months and I kind of just want to move on to do some other stuff for a bit maybe we uh, play control I just got to see if I got like free access to it cause I don't own the game no I do not no I do not want to do that um, another idea would be to maybe do, uh, maybe do, maybe have access to Persona Strikers, or maybe do Dicey Dungeons. Maybe I'd do that, too. I don't know. There's some options, because I know some of these are RPGs and we're not going to do them yet. Maybe i do Sonic Adventure 2 as well. Um, I gotta find a, um, a good N64, uh, emulator to do Glover. So, eventually we'll do that. Um, I could also set up some... Um, we'll try to get some of these attractions done as well. Because I, I got a solo board game night I want to do. Um, a Monopoly night that we want to do. Uh, more uh, Magic the Gathering stream with Triple L. Which, I don't know if... like Me and Trips wanted to do like something together where we're like doing our... Uh, like We wanted to get in a draft together and do limited in the same pod, but I don't know if we can, like, volunteer to join in the same pod. It just automatically throws you in one. And, unfortunately, if that's the case, then I can't exactly do what I want on that stream. Because I don't own any cards on that, uh, for, um, Magic, um, Arena. So. But, uh, I could also find a way to play, like, other, like... Because I have a lot of the Magic, uh, the Gathering, like, Duels of the Planeswalker, uh, like, decks and games and shit from, like, the 360 era and whatnot. I just wish, um, it's kind of, it's kind of annoying. I wish I had a, I had the means to play those online and just be like, hey, let's play this together as opposed to, like... You know, make that be the magic game instead of, like, having to, like, go through Arena and, uh, you know, do all that. Possibly having to grind for cards and stuff like that. And that's almost not really worth it, in my opinion. So. Alright. Uh, but, but we got ideas. We'll figure it out. People say Control's real good. And, you know, I like real good games, so. It's a, poss it's a good possibility we might play Control next, but, you know, I'm kind of itching for some Twisted Metal content in the future, so. But, uh, so, this Friday is when I'll stream next, because I'm not going to be on later tonight uh, due to the service on Friday morning. But I will get some sleep, and then I will be ready for Friday Night Gloomhaven. For those of you who are partaking and wanting to play or you know, or just kind of hanging out and watching the uh, Gloomhaven goodness. Uh, we'll do more of that. Hopefully I don't play by myself most of the night like I did the last time, and that kind of sucked, but, I mean, 
it was still fun for me, but it kind of sucked because, like, the idea is to try to get people to play. And also, it was the holidays and stuff like that, so I also understand, but, yeah. I'm hoping that we'll get some more people interested in playing. Um, but, yeah, overall, and, uh, what, did I have something for Saturday? Oh, yeah. Um, I told, uh, I, I'm going to have Kayla up here Saturday, and I'm going to see if she's going to want to do uh, Mario Party. So, if you have Mario Party, I would love to play some Mario Party with y'all. Be a lot of fun. So, kind of looking at that as well. Um, anyways. That'll be it. Um, hopefully, uh, everyone, everyone has a great uh, next day or two since I won't be online. And, uh... Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and raid my friend Xena. So. Yeah, let's give her some love. It's a shame Ashley only died 15 times by my hand. I was hoping to kill her a lot more often. That did not happen. But it's fine, you know. It's all good. Um, take care, everybody. Have a good one.